Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, I was trying to make this video already. In fact, I recorded a whole bunch and I know exactly what I'm gonna show you guys, but then my computer just blew up! The recording was lost to the ethos, gone forever, and now I have to do it again. But the good news is, I know exactly what to show you, because you may be asking me from your comfortable chair and your comfortable home, why aren't I building my own home on my new island that I just discovered? And I would ask you in return, which island should I build it upon? That's right! The worst kept secret in all of Subnautica! I found another island. And literally, it's another island, and it's not a floating island. And I'll show it to you in a little bit, but I gotta get through the new names on the list here. So, Colby Stone said, Mark, you need to make a farming tray from the island. You should be able to scan them, and you can put them in your bases, which is good for getting food in the future. So, Colby Stone, you're on a- you're on a locker. And then Santos Gomez, be careful because this creature can open gates in the ocean that can teleport you back to the beginning. Now, I don't know what Santos is talking about, but it sounds horrifying, and I don't want to run into that creature. Might be the Sea Emperor. And then, Colin Staniscus, or Colin St Colin Stan, Colin- Colin. Oh god, what have I done? I'm so sorry, Colin. Colin Staniscus said, Wait until he runs into Sea Dragon Leviathan. And that doesn't sound good at all. Is that the creature that can open gates and teleport me back to the beginning of the game? Because that doesn't sound good at all. So anyway, thank you guys so much for commenting. And now I'm going to get to the next place that I need to go. But I need my Seamoth to do it. I don't know why I left it behind. Hello, baby! Can I get in you? Please and thank you. Okay. But there's another thing also that I found, and I'm really disappointed that, like, my recording doesn't break all that often, but when it does, it's always when I find the coolest things. Because I went back, let me just breach the surface here for a little bit. Habooski! Habooski! So I went back to my... My little, uh, life pod there, whatever you want to call it. And I actually have the welder now, so I repaired it. And when I repaired it, there was another device in there that I had not seen before, and I think they added in an update to the game. And you guys are gonna see it's no longer smoking and dying in there. In fact, it's actually really interesting because this thing has been drifting. It's literally been drifting across the ocean because it didn't used to be above the kelp forest. It did not. It used to be on its own in a lovely place, not here. But now, it is oddly out of place. But anyway, that's not the point. The point is I can see everything from here, and this is the direction of the new island. But we're gonna get to that. So I went in here, and there was this thing called a communications relay. And when I opened it, or when I clicked on it, there was a weird message that said I had been staying too long in the Midnight Reef or something like that. It was really weird, and I don't know why someone would be talking to me, but it got me thinking. Why am I the only survivor of that massive, giant, giant ship? Enormous ship. It's huge. God damn it, why can't I stay on top of this thing? It's huge, but this thing is freaking huge. Whoa, what the hell? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Easy there, what the hell? Okay then! Oh god! I didn't mean to do that! Oh Jesus, I'm just tipping it overboard every time I go on the- Oh man, there we go! Well that was bizarre. I don't think the thing wants me to think too much about the conspiracy theories about this, but why am I the only survivor? On the only life pod of that ship. Literally. I'm the only survivor. Even before it exploded, Karen said that there were no life readings on that ship. Or there were scattered life readings, but those were the aliens on there. So what happened? Why am I the only one? And why is there no one else anywhere around here? It's a good question, right? One to think about. And... As I was exploring near this island, which we're gonna head to right now, there was another interesting detail that I found. And it was that there are a lot more wreckages around the map than I thought there was. If you know, um, when I went out of the mushroom caves early on in my series, and I can't believe I've been doing about 20 episodes of this, I never imagined that I'd be playing this game for this long, but there's so many cool things because whenever I go out into the ocean here, Whenever I drift, whenever I see, whenever I explore a new area, now that I can go deeper, I can actually see all the areas that I'm going to, I find new things. Constantly, non-stop, I find new things, because I'm actually able to go down into the depths, like deeper, and this isn't even deep, but I'm able to go down, 
Way, 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 way down. Hi, Sancho, how are you doing? But I'm able to go so far down that I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure if I continually explore, and I've got a map pulled up of the game here, I can actually see different areas. There's like inert lava uh, pits or lava, whatever you want to call them. There's inert lava places. And uh, these, oh yeah, these things, the floating islands, these giant bulbous things are actually what are keeping the island over in the other side of the map up. So it's, it, it's bizarre because that's over there, but these are over here, and there's a whole bunch of them. There's a, there's literally tons of these floating, and here! Yeah, this was it! This, this cool thing! Yeah, this was the thing! Oh, this is so cool! I already explored it because there's nothing inside there, so there's nothing really to get, but the fact that this piece of wreckage got blown out from the aurora hello got blown out from the aurora and landed perfectly on these two floating islands and that's amazing that's like really amazing i mean i know the developers put it there i'm not an idiot but that's just really really cool it's just cool to have that kind of detail in there the fact what is that Okay. Well, I forgot that I was in the middle of the ocean and it turned to goddamn night, didn't it? Okay, I've lost my bearings and I don't know where I am. Am I going up? I hope to- I hope I am. Okay. So we're gonna- yeah, it turned night. God damn it. Why is it always gotta be night? Okay, but I'm getting close. Let's see, as soon as I can see where the aurora is- Oh, there it is! I don't even have to show you- I don't even have to get my bearings. So this is what I'm talking about. There is a completely different island. And I don't know how I miss these things. They're so obvious. This thing is huge. It's annoying. It's jutting out from the thing. But if you go too far away from it, you won't see it. But this, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's just, and th this one's even different because it's not a floating island. This is literally just land jutting up. So it's like an island in the traditional sense that we'd find on Earth here. So it's, I guess it's not that special, but it's special to me because it's so weird. And on this island are the same little skittering crabs that are found on the Aurora. Which makes me wonder, why are there land animals anywhere around here? Like, what is the point of that? And that's actually pretty convenient that the sea moth actually casts a shadow like that. So, in here, I actually made a terrible error, and I'm glad you guys didn't see it. The, the only thing that I like about this thing crashing is, I made the stupidest mistake that I could have possibly made. When I went in here, and this by itself is cool, because it's like an inside little cave here, filled with rich detail and stuff. And you can break these open, and you get, shit, that only had gold in it, but you can get uranium out of some of these, which is good, and diamond, I guess diamond is good, but who am I gonna give it to? Gold, gold, ugh. See, this creeps me out. Like, I don't like it down here. This is... Oh, okay! I guess we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. What is that? What are you? What are you? Oh, you're tiny, but you're glowing! Oh, you do backflips! He actually provides light. That's so cool! I didn't even notice that guy before, because <laughs> what I did last time is uh, I drowned. <laughs> I accidentally came down here and I couldn't find the way out, and then I drowned like an embarrassing son of a bitch. Anyway, that just leads back to outside, so I don't need to go down there right now. But if I can just get- ah. Fuck. Fuck. Frick. Frick, dude. I'll find it. Not ah, gold. Nothing but gold. I'm surrounded by gold and diamonds. I don't even know what the diamonds are gonna be for- Hey, stop that. I'll kick your ass, buddy. From here to Tuesday. Yeah, you better run. You did- and you're dead. Okay. Bank, gold, ah, gold, 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 who needs it? Uranium, there! So I got uranium, and now uranium can be used in the nuclear reactor, which is a research module, or, um, it's a scannable thing. I don't know if I have it yet, I don't know if I ever got it, but I might have, and that can provide, like, unlimited power for my base, which is gonna be used when I do this. And also, I noticed this, it looks like Pride Rock from The Lion King, that little outpost right there, and that little jut up. I think that, I think, I'm pretty sure that's Pride Rock. Also, there is a path upwards to the top of this mountain. And the, once again, the reason I know all this is because I recorded this episode already. I did all this. I had some really funny jokes. No, I didn't. I never have any funny jokes. But you can believe that I had some funny jokes when I was recording this. Oh yeah, and birds! It's got birds! Well, I mean, they're not really birds. They're like flaps of skin. Like, just floating in the air. It's actually really disturbing. But we'll find more of them, and I can actually... 
I can actually kill one, I think, because when I sliced him, I haven't been able to kill one, but when I sliced it, like, I got spurts of blood to come out of it, which I'm assuming means that it's dying, and those aren't just tickle fluids coming out of it. <laughs> nope. Yeah. See, I, I, I can't get one. They just fly away. They run away! Why do they always run away? Come back! Come back to me! Why won't they love me? Whoa, hello. Hi, that guy loves me too much. Okay, but also, at the top of this mountain here is a lovely view of the Aurora. And it would have been great if I if I came over here when this, like, before the Aurora blew up, I would have loved, 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 loved to see it from this vantage point. And there's no other way up to go, so I can't go any higher on this, but I'm gonna wait until daylight so that you guys can see how cool this actually is. Because you haven't been able to see much of the island, but now that it's coming to day, you guys are gonna see. And maybe I can nab one of these suckers. What are you doing in there? You wanna go, bruh? You wanna go? Okay, and it's now day. Oh, you, you, yes, 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 yes. Ah, come on, oh! Oh. Oh! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> oh, that's kind of sad now. Oh, that's really sad. Why did I do that? Oh, it was a bird! Oh, it even looks like a bird! Oh no, he's just spiraling into death. <laughs> oh, the poor bastard. Okay, well, that was sad. I don't know why I did that. But anyway, alright then. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. This is super cool. You can even see the fish! You can even see the fish! And there's no way up to go. I wish I could go higher to the top of this mountain, but I can't figure out a way to do that. Unless I hop on one of those jumpy bastards, but- HOP! Ah! And also the gravity is just a little weird when you jump off of here. It doesn't quite- Doesn't 100% work out the way it's supposed to. Maybe the gravity- Oh! Hi! Wow! You were real! Okay, I'm gonna get out of here, thank you very much. I didn't know there was one of those things over here. Oh god, it's a bitey bitch. Ah, uh, hello. Is this... Ooh. Is this the home of those things? Is this island their mating ground? And I'm gonna run into a bunch of baby ones? <laughs> okay, so, with that being said, um, I'm gonna start exploring the different areas in this new and exciting place, because if I go to the north... No, west. Northwest, I'll get past the floating islands, and then I'll get into the mushroom forts, which was actually deeper than I could explore before. And I'll see a lot of really cool things. So I'll be right back when I get to the new area. So see you in a bit. That is cool. Whoa, that's a big one. What the hell? Holy crap. Oh my God. Whoa, okay. Actually, this is actually big. Whoa, that one's massive. If that one had a few more floaters on it, it could actually be like the island floating above. But you gotta imagine, that island is huge. Like, there's gotta be a lot of floaters that are working their butts off trying to keep that off the ground. Okay, anyway, I'll be back. But I mean, okay, I, I, I just have to keep talking because this is so amazing. This is what I was talking about. Like, I went on a huge rant, and I'm about to go on a huge rant again about how cool this is. That I can go through the ocean and find new things Everywhere I go, literally, I can go anywhere in this ocean. Whoa, hello. Hi! Oh. <laughs> it's a giant pile of sand. I was- I was surprised by a giant pile of sand. It looked like something- it was a giant pile of sand. Anyway, so I can go through this ocean and I can be surprised by a giant- well, hello. Wait. What is that? Oh. Cool! Oh! Oh, these- oh, okay, this is one of the inert lava beds. Okay, this is what it was talking about. There were, like, inert lava streams. You can see, like, little bits of glowy lava coming through. Okay, so that's cool. We've officially reached where my last recording stopped, but I wanted to go in here because there are just some ridiculously cool things. Oh, no, wait! No, this isn't deep enough. Oh, yeah, I was deeper than this. So there's gotta be, um... I know there's gotta be something. There's gotta be like a drop-off connected to this somewhere, and I'm going to find it! I wonder if I- I- I believe that I can cut these mushrooms, right? Pretty sure I can. I don't know if there's any use to them. There's a lot of items that you can get in this game that don't actually have use yet. 
Like, you can scavenge a lot of things that don't actually combine with everything else yet. Because they're still working on the game. They're still building the game. In and they're updating it all the time. In between the last episode and this one, I think there actually was another update. Although I think it was just minor stuff. But they're constantly adding new stuff to the game. And I would... I'd be shocked to find out that I actually found everything. What is this? Well, hello, sudden drop off into- no oh. Hey! How's it going there? It's another one! Oh, cool. Oh, cool, whoa. Oh, that's the salvage. What? There's a lot of crap on the ground. What is that? That's an upgrade module! Is that just a plain old upgrade module? Cyclops bridge fragment. Okay. Can I get some of these? No, apparently I got that already. Yeah, alright, whatever. Okay. Cool. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Is there anything in this one? Because there seem to be a lot more boxes. Oh. 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 Hello. Hi. Anybody home? Cargo? Ooh. Well, at least this is more populated than the other one. Okay. Cool. Still quiet and dead. I think that's just a sand shark, so I don't need to worry about that. That's all broken. Well, that's no good. That's all stopped up. For having a whole bunch of boxes in here, it's just as empty as the other ones. There's nothing in here! There's a whole lot of nothing. Something in here. Whoa. Hello. <gasps> it's another human! Warning. Oh god, I forgot. But look at that! It's a picture of another human! I haven't even seen another human in all of this! I was wondering why I was the only one alone! Emergency. Finally Ten find a picture of a human woman? It's probably dead, but... You know, that's interesting, though. Huh. Okay. So cool. I mean, I don't know if there's anything important in these wreckages just yet, but I do want to find that cave opening! So, I'm gonna keep exploring. I'll see you in a bit. Hello. Ah, that's not a good sound. That's the opposite of a good- Ah, that's not a good sound! Okay, alright, running away. Oh, I think it spotted me. Oh, this ain't good. Oh, it's not good. Opposite of good. What is that? What is that? What is that? Is it following me? Oh. Uh, what is- what is this? Ooh. Oh. Hello? It's a hole in the ground! Ooh, God. Uh. Uh. Oh, God. Uh. Ooh. Okay. What the- oh god, why is it all bumpy? Oh! Oh, it feels wrong! Oh! Oh my god! Where is this? Is this the one? Oh. Hello. What are you doing down there? Are you just falling to you? Oh my god, they're just falling! Why did you come down here? What is this? I've never seen a biome like this. Ugh. Ugh it feels wrong. I don't like it. It's probably the Leviathan breeding ground! Okay, the only reason I'm going out is because I am out of time for this episode. And I want to make sure that this episode actually recorded before I go into any new territory because I don't have to do it again. There's only so many times I can be amazed by the same things, but that is... weird. Leviathan still out there? Okay, so I've got 51% power. I'm pretty sure that's enough for my Seamoth, but... wow. So anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. In the next episode, I'm going to find out where this hole goes. Maybe it goes down to the city. Who knows? But thank you again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. None will survive my onslaught. No! God, yeah. Ugh. Dixie Jumbo Fuel Tanks.